If the voltage sent to the compressor by the IPM is abnormal, the indoor unit will display a P0 or P4 error code. Causes include IPM board malfunction, main PCB malfunction, or compressor malfunction. Begin by checking all wiring between the indoor and outdoor unit. Ensure there are no mixed connections or loose wires and that the proper 16 to 12 gauge stranded wires are being used. Ensure the unit is on standby. Measure the DC voltage between P and N of the capacitor on the main board. The normal range is between these values. If the voltage is not within range, replace the main PCB. Turn off the power. Ensure the capacitors have been allowed to completely drain their charge and that the compressor is unplugged. Use a digital multimeter to measure the resistance between pins P and U, V, and W, then between pins N and U, V, and W. The normal resistance values are in the range of several mega ohms. If the resistance is not in range, replace the IPM board. Measure the three phase resistance across pins U, V, and W of the compressor connector. The resistances should all match and be within the range of 0.3 to 1.5 ohms. Check the resistance of each pin to ground to ensure there are no short circuits. If the resistances are not within range, replace the compressor. If an abnormal change in current is detected, the indoor unit will display an F0 error code. Causes include issues with the power supply, system blockage, fan malfunction, faulty PCB, wiring errors, or compressor malfunction. Begin by checking the power supply voltage for stability and that it meets the unit requirements. If the power supply voltage is irregular, implement appropriate voltage regulation to the system. Check all wiring between the indoor and outdoor unit. Ensure there are no mixed connections or loose wires and that the proper 16 to 12 gauge stranded wires are being used. Check the current passing through the power supply cable is not exceeding 10 amps. If the current is not constant or within range, check the outdoor unit heat exchanger fin and coil for excessive dirt or obstructions. Clean and straighten bend fins to ensure proper airflow. Measure the three-phase resistance of pins U, V, and W of the compressor connector. The resistances should all match and be within the range of 0.3 to 1.5 ohms. Check the resistance of each pin to ground to ensure there are no short circuits. If the resistances are not within range, replace the compressor. When the signal voltage from the compressor overload protector, OLP, is not 5 volts, the indoor unit will display a P2 error code. Causes include faulty wiring, OLP sensor malfunction, PCB error, or mechanical problems such as refrigerant leakage, a blocked expansion valve, or dirty condenser or evaporator coils. Begin by checking all wiring between the indoor and outdoor unit. Ensure there are no mixed connections or loose wires and that the proper 16 to 12 gauge stranded wires are being used. Inspect the airflow of the indoor and outdoor units. Ensure the coil and fins of the heat exchangers are not excessively dirty or bent and that airflow is normal. Power off the unit for 10 minutes then restart. If problems persist, check the temperature of the compressor top. If the compressor top is overheated, check the refrigerant system lines and fittings for leakage using a soap bubble test or a leak detector. Otherwise, if the compressor temperature is normal, replace the main PCB.